So I'm going to be doing a requested video today. I did actually film another requested video and that will be up after this one because this one was requested first because someone requested I did a room tour and I actually just filmed that. But half sab one, I'll link their channel below. I don't know if they do videos on it, I didn't really look. But I like to if someone gives me a request, link it below because they gave me a request. Um, request I do prefer... I still can't say it. perfume collection. That was a really bad start then. So yeah, I'm gonna do one. The first, like this lot, my perfumes aren't really all together. So I'm just gonna show you. The first ones are my two most worn perfumes and they're on here. So I'm gonna do that first. It said perfume collection on like reviews. So it'll be like little reviews. And if you want like a full review on one perfume, just comment that below. Okay, so the first perfume is just gonna be for someday. This is a 30ml bottle, so it, the packaging, I'll review the packaging and then the scent. The packaging is amazing, like, it's like got these two chairs. And then this is all plastic and it's one, two, three, four layer of flowers and only the first two come off, that's the lid and then they stay on. Then it's like that and it's in like a little purple bottle and it looks really cute and I think this size looks cuter than the bigger size. Right, okay, now the smell. It lasts so long. It smells really like florally and really girly and you just thought it would have smelled quite like kiddie and stuff but it smells really quite grown up and it's like the most amazing celebrity perfume I've ever smelled especially being Justin Bieber like you wouldn't have thought Justin Bieber would have brought out a really nice smelling perfume but it is and I love it and the box is cute as well. Then I have this I've been wanting this for so long it's Chloe perfume. I'm doing this like a haul, <laughs> like, I got this like, for Christmas, that's why. This is a 50ml bottle, I'll, um, yeah, so, it's like, packaging is really cute, because this is like, like, the perfume's like, this colour, <laughs> I can't describe the colour, it's like this colour, and then it's like a clear, like, flower-shaped lid, and then the, like, press is green, so it looks like a flower, like, look, it's green, so it looks like a flower, and it's like a super cute, like, thing to do, and, Oh, this is the nicest smelling perfume I own. This is my favourite perfume. Oh, it's like floral and like grown up and womanly. And I've used quite a lot of that. So that's that and I love that perfume. Okay, then my most worn perfumes. Oh, they're like my most two warm perfumes, but my other perfumes are over here. It's not focusing. Focus, camera, focus. Yeah, so there's the there. So I'm just gonna give it a chance to focus because it's been an idiot. Let me go get these perfumes. I just like saw my perfume collection because I just like tidied my room, like proper full on tidied my room and reorganised some stuff for my room tour. So yeah. I didn't do it just for my room tour. I did it like because I needed to because I haven't tidied my like <laughs> that's not really I haven't like reorganised my room in it just so yeah. I'm sorry you can't see off my head, I'm sort really close to the camera. Tell me whether you prefer me to sit close or farther away from the camera. Because when I sit far like this is like quite far away. And then like I can sit like closer. And in my Christmas haul part three, I'm sat like medium. I don't know, it's just easy to sit close to this video. I know you can't see it over my head. Get back a little bit, there we go. Okay, so the first perfume is this one. Which is Rare Pearls by Avon. And I absolutely love Avon perfumes, they're really good and they're quite cheap. This is a 50ml. So the packaging is really quite nice. It looks really nice on like a like Stand it has like this pearly coloured lid, um, and it's like a pearly coloured bottle as well, which is really nice. And the smell of this it doesn't really smell of much, it's quite a pearly smell <laughs> like that's really weird. But you know, like when you see a pearly eyeshadow and stuff, sort of like that, um, quite. 
I'm not really good at describing smells, especially perfume. I don't know. It's really awkward. Awful. I don't know, but it's a really nice, it's a nice smelling perfume. It's not my favourite, but I use this for school. Like, if I'm going to take a perfume to school, I take this one because... This sounds really spoiled, but like... If some, if I like took my just to perfume to school and it's smashed, I'll be absolutely gutted. That's why I take like an Avon one because it's not as bad then. And then I have Rare Gold, which I got for Christmas, which is the like the other ones. This like an Avon, this little black dress and little white dress. This is the dupe. Now the packaging on this isn't half as nice, so that it's a gold perfume. Then it has just has a gold lid and a gold goldness. This one smells. The nicest out of the two. This smells really like womanly and it doesn't smell small, it sort of smells like gold. Like, do you know like perfumes that are gold? Like the million dollar one and stuff. It sort of smells like one of those. So that's nice and I haven't used much of that. I've used like quite a bit of this. Then I have this which I got for Christmas as well, which is Secret Fantasy Star by Avon. I have a lot of Avon perfumes. This is a 50ml. I got this from my cousins. Packaging. It's cute. It doesn't have a lid. Um, the logo's cute, and I guess that bottle's quite a nice shape. But other than that, the packaging's not that great, and the smell. I think this does smell quite kiddie, but it's a dupe for the soap and glow perfume. So it smells like the soap and glow perfume if you smell that. If not, it sort of just smells like the soap and glow products. You have to have smelled one of the soap and glow products. Um, in sort of like perfume scent, so yeah, that's that. And then I actually do have the Soap and Glow Perfume. EDSNG, so it's called. Um, this is a one fluid ounce. I'm almost out. Packaging for this is super cute. It did come with a lid that had like, like, rope around it, but the lid, I've lost the lid. But this packaging's cute. It's like black and it has pink right in. And this just smells, as I said, like a soap and glow product, product in a perfume. My lips are awful. Like they've all got dead skin on them, can you see? Does anyone know any like things you can make at home to help this? Because it's super bad, look. Look at that. Let it focus. Look, it's not focusing. There we go, it's awful. I've been putting lip balm on them, but... Yep. Um, and I love my new camera, it's just, like, it's just cool, isn't it? Um, then this is a perfume I got last Christmas, and it's called Lulu, and it's by... someone. But this is from Boots, and the packaging is cool. I, like, love the packaging to this, like... It's just blue and then it's red. Like, it's so simple, but it's a really cool shape. And I love this. This is a 30ml. This smells right. This is a smell like no other perfume smell. Like, some perfumes smell the same. This is a different perfume smell. It's really, really florally, but it's really, really strong. And it has undertones of, like, I don't know. I was under terms of something that I can't describe. But if you don't like strong smells, this is not one for you. And I'm nearly out with this as well. Yep. Then I have Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel Paris. I'm so... This is a... 35ml. And look how much I have love to get you to see it. I think I'm just going to have to chuck this away. I think I'm just going to use this now. And then chuck it away. The packaging looks super expensive. Obviously, it's Chanel. Oh, you could see me in them. There's my camera. So, basically, the smell is... I think a lot of people have smelt this. It's really womanly. I'm going to spray it on me. I think I'll get, like, one more spray out of that. It's really womanly, and it, again, smells like one of the gold perfumes. Like, they're really expensive. It smells expensive. Like, you smell like... These are like this on me, and it's like, eh. like this is one of the perfumes that smells expensive. So yeah, probably because it is expensive. 
Then my last most worn perfume is Colleen. I've had this for ages. I love it. It's Colleen. It's just kiss. It's a 50ml, I think, or 100ml. The squirter on this is Dodge. The packaging's super cool. cool. It's lost cute. It's like super nice. It's like purple and it says Colleen Kiss on it. It's cool. It's a square. It's really tall. The squirter's dodged. Like, can you see that? <laughs> this is one of those perfumes that smells expensive as well. But it has sort of a sort of like womanly scent. Like, the smell of woman. Like, <laughs> And I really like it. It's like, oh, that's, I really recommend this. I got it in a set with the body lotion. The body lotion was really thick as well. So that's all my like, most worn perfumes. Now these perfumes I don't wear, but I have them. So I don't really know why I have them, but I'll show you where they are. They're here on my bookshelf. There's quite a few I don't really wear. Where's my camera would focus? It focuses on me, but it doesn't like anything else. Oh, here we go. Right, so I'm just gonna get those down. I'm sorry, what time am I on? 11 minutes. This is bad. This is really bad. Right. Sorry, there's quite a few to pick up. Oh, damn. Right. Okay. So the first one is by Avon, and this is called... I think it's called something. I don't know. I have no idea what it's called, because it hasn't even sticker on the bottom or anything, because it's, like, frosted. I don't know. But it's in this bottle that's like a weird shape. The packaging's really cool. It's in a weird shape. And then it has frosted and it sort of sits like this. That's how it sits. Yeah. Smell. I have to speed this up. That's the nicest, like, even perfume I have. It smells really quiet. It doesn't smell floral. It sort of smells perfume. That's what it smells, perfume. Nice, like that perfume. I have this monsoon perfume that broke. It had like something round here and it broke, so like the lid, like the lid fitted onto it, it doesn't no more. I think this is monsoon elation. I think this smells to die for. The bath stuff does as well. It's really pretty. The only reason that's like not on there is because the packaging's broke. I don't actually wear this one, it's just not on there with the ones I wear because the packaging's broke, so it looks naff. Yeah, I love that perfume. It's really nice. Not expensive either. Um, I have this one, which is Britney Spears. I hate this perfume. It's horrendous. This is past the lids broke as well, but there's like nothing in this. I think I'm going to chuck this away. It's Britney Spears, whatever it is. The, that one. The one that's in the weird bottle. It looks like a genie bottle. I hate the smell of it. I think it smells cheap and tacky. That's what I think it smells like. Yeah, I really don't like that perfume. Um, then I have this Kylie Minogue perfume, which hasn't got a lot in. The packaging of this is tacky as well. I like this packaging though, so it's like pink lid. And it says Kylie Minogue Showtime on it, and then it's like pink inside, and it's like weird. Um, this smells... This one does smell like a celebrity perfume, but it's not. it smells like bath product. Like, it doesn't really smell perfumey. It sort of smells like a body lotion, but it's like a really nice smell. So I like that. Then I have some... I have this Bratz one. I don't know why I have this. I spray my brushes with this. I'm trying to my hair. It smells really, like, young kitty. But my brushes, when I clean them, they smell awful from the washing up liquid. So I spray my brushes with this. <laughs> Just back straight on that. They have this Calvin Klein one. Oh, what is it just called? Yeah, Calvin Clam 1. Now, this is not an aftershave. My friends come in and say, is this an aftershave? No, it's not an aftershave. It's a perfume. It's a unisex perfume. And I like this because it smells like, man. The squirt's super dodge. Can you see this watch? Did you see that? This smells like man. And I sometimes, like, my friend sometimes has links. And we always like spray it on ourselves because we like to smell like man. I like to smell like woman, but I like to smell like man. So it sort of smells like a perfume, but it smells like men. So I like this. I don't wear it a lot though. Packaging is cool, but it's a bit chipped. It's cool because you can see my camera in it. Yeah. Okay, then I have some So. I have So Kiss Me in the little bottle, which I think the little bottle is much cuter than the big bottle. But there's nothing in this. Then I have So Kiss Me in the big bottle. I don't know how much this is. 
This smells like typical girl's perfume. Typical girl perfume, that's all it smells like. And it's so exciting in the so exciting in the medium size, which I love the packaging, it's like a bread lid. I don't really like soap packaging, like, but I like the lid of this one. Um, can't really explain that. That sort of just smells like girly perfume as well. So superstar in the medium size. I think this is my favourite because this sort of smells like this. It's got a bit more of a little girly scent though too. But I like that. That one's like, and then so sinful in the big size. Which is my least favourite. I don't really like the smell of this one. I like the smell of the body spray because I have the body spray. And I prefer the So Kiss Me body spray as well. I all around prefer the body sprays of So. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I knocked my perfume. I knocked my camera over with my So perfume. Okay, so this is on like a super long video. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.